is up bros we are here to check out a new mod by canadian mod or great conflicts the first world war i've been seeing um a, a mission here and there he's he sent me out a couple missions i was really waiting for a uh, nearly finished product although it's not completely finished it's uh it's more than just a couple missions so as always his channel the video will be linked in the description. That is where you can get the download leak now. Post away in the comments asking where the download leak is. Let's start with uh, checking out the headquarters. All right, let's see who we got here. I am looking for two generals. One you probably know, one you may know if you've been around a few years. But yeah, this is going to be a who's who of World War I generals. Ludendorff, Wilhelm Falkenheim. There's one of them. Von Mackensen. Uh, something is wrong with this right here. Something is definitely wrong. A young Stalin. Kadorna. Ha! <laughs> A young as Zhukov. Uh, <laughs> De Gaulle. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you who the other one is. Who ye? I don't see him. I know, I, I, look, the mod's not done, but I need, I need some Puyi in my life. I cannot do this without Puyi. Uh, the technology is free. Uh, to get all the medals unlocked, you um, play the first exercise. Uh, to get a bunch of medals, you play the first um, tutorial, which is actually a mission. Which was uh, just a naval battle, which was kind of fun. I guess I'll go ahead and show it, huh? Let's go ahead and take a look. Just a straight up naval battle between Japan and the Qing Dynasty. I haven't looked at any of these other ones, so I'm going to be uh, seeing these all for the first time as well. Invasion of Korea 1894. Nine generals. Damn, Japan has the deployment. I mean, there is multiple. Dude, if you got hit from all those directions at one time, you would just be completely... You'd be completely screwed. It'd be like the Soviets day one of Barbarossa. Be like the French when they realized the main German force went through the Ardennes. Battle of Port Arthur, 1904. All right, we got another naval battle. It's not looking good for the Russian Empire there. All right, what was that? Four, we got, uh, or did we just, uh, Xinghai Revolution. Oh, so it looks like we've got the Qing Dynasty just trying to hold on for uh, power here. And Japan's just sitting back and watching it play out. Let them both weaken each other. All right, we got uh, five. Italo-Turkish War. You know what? I forgot to look, thinking about the Italians. I did look to see if there was a young deuce in here. I gotta have my Mackinson, my Puyi, and my deuce. I just gotta have them. Uh, and we got a Balkan War 1. Looks like Turkey is getting it from all directions. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be, um... Rather difficult for Turkey to win. Outmanned, it looks like, and outgeneraled. 
We got the Balkan War 2. This time around, it looks like we've got the Turkish bros, and now everybody is crapping all over the Bulgarians. Moving on to French and German War 1914 to uh, something. Battle of Liege. All right, the Germans got the Belgians. Wow, that's a lot of firepower they're bringing in. Let me see how much one of these does to a uh, fortress real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, Germany's going to crap all over him. We've got the Schleifen plan. All right, a small one, but uh, still big enough for them to realize that it's not going to work. Three, we've got Battle of Tannenberg. Okay, so I did watch a uh, monitor video. Special unit for the Germans is uh, the gas artillery. Oh, uh, ouch. That, uh, that stung a little bit. We got Battle of Verdun. More. Oh, man. This reminds me so much of one of my favorite mods of all time. You know, it's the World War One mod for European War for seeing seeing our bro on a uh, artillery piece. Brings back good memories. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's going to be it. So the Entente, we've got a couple missions as well. The first Battle of the Marne. Yay, we get to play with the French. Got some British backup coming in. At least they don't have um, any gas artillery. First Battle of Ypres. We get to play with the French again. Remember, guys, I, I, I assume he's going to add some terrain. But uh, right now, it is still not a finished product. I, I was thinking, man, it'd look a lot better with some terrain. But then I remembered it is unfinished. We've got uh, well, down here. We've got the first battle of a champagne. Nice. We are the French again. Whenever I play with the French, I am a happy, happy man. I like that skin. I hadn't even looked at that yet. That's a nice looking skin. Rex infantry too. I like that skin. That's uh, I haven't seen a skin like that. Got second battle of Champagne. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't know if I like this. I don't know, I, I, I don't know, turtle right here. Is I what, I think that's what I would do, just a turtle. We are outmanned. Outgunned. Battle of Gallipoli. Republic of France. You know what? I just thought of something. European War 6, 1914. There was a mission that looked very much like this. Although the map was smaller. And you had to take some spots through here and you had to come back up and around 
Oh, I remember that one being hard. It took me a while to beat that. I think at the time I was still just using the generals that you were given. And so it was kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, I just remember going through here and thinking, ah, oh, shit. All my generals kept dying before I got even got up here. All right, so Central Powers in Britain. Looks like we're going to have, uh, where's the other one? We've got two. Where is one? All right, here we go. Austrian Revenge. Who is the... Uh, oh, okay. This is the Austrian Revenge. Everybody else is neutral. They just want to see how this plays out. All right, now to Battle of Limanoa. We nailed that. Little bit of a Russian incursion. I want to see uh, what this looks like. A lot of damage from that. I like these little, I, I mean, look, there's a time and a place for the huge map missions, you know, that like I've been playing, but there's also a time for a smaller, uh, a smaller mission, you know, one you could get done in an episode. The Entente, looks like we're going to have at least three. Battle of Heligoland. Another British Navy bullying somebody. I mean, we've come to expect that. It's bullies. Uh, okay, where is two? Two is down here. First Battle of the Marne with the British Empire. Last time I believe we were the French. Oh, yeah. Although, when, when we were the French, the British had not landed yet. Nice. We got three. The Battle of Gallipoli. This time, with the British. Yep. Great. We gotta rely on the French. You guys can take care of that. We can handle the North. Is, uh, is the three? Yeah, it's just a three. I don't think, yeah, there wasn't anything for the Russians yet, but there was, I believe, a couple Ottoman ones. Balkans War one with the Ottomans. Oh, yeah, and, and this is obviously new. I like the look of that. We got some bros cut off. It's going to be like the rescue of the Curl and Pocket Bros. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes they get massacred. Uh, two, where are you? Battle of Sarikamash. Nailed it. Oh. Poor Russian Empire. They're definitely out not although, you know, the Ottomans didn't fight too well. So who knows? Maybe they have a built-in debuff. Uh we got three somewhere. Where is three? Alright, here we go. Three. Right on the Suez Canal. Uh Obviously not done. Does that mean four is not done? Battle of Gallipoli with the Ottomans? That's probably done because the other maps were done. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bit different though here. Go uh, smaller naval forces it looks like and goes a lot further north. 
All right, so we also got conquests to look at. First, you know, Japanese War 1894. Of course, I'm picking the Ching. I'm just, I wonder if Pu Yi is on here, but he's not, um, he just wasn't added as a general. No, I don't see a Pu Yi. Where is my Pu Yi? I, bro, I can't, I can't play this without Pu Yi. I refuse to play with the Ching until I can play with Pu Yi. We got 1914 First World War. Thirty generals? Did I just see that right? Oh, look at all this. Oh, and it does AOE. It should have hit like it was hitting with uh, who was on it? Hindenburg. Let's see how much these cost. Chemical launchers are pretty expensive, especially if you want a good one. Price of chemical launcher these days. Inflation. Then we've got 1915 Stell Mate is what I'm guessing it was supposed to say there. Trench warfare, no man's land type crap the Swiss. Let me just do this right now. I feel better. That made me... Armored trains. I, I hadn't even picked up an armored train. I, I, I just... I You know, for what? I forgot about how much I love the armored trains. Let's not forget about... The mod with the mobile bunkers. The bunkers you could take across sea, even. Epic bunker technologies. 1916, war is far from over. I need me up some mobile bunkers, too. The war is definitely... far from over. Except... There's one part of the war. There's one part of the war that's just getting started. I like it. Mackinson on an armored train. Nice. Nineteen seventeen Rise of the Bolsheviks. Let's see what we got here. Um, all right, so so we got Trotsky, Stalin, and Lenin all held up in Saint Petersburg. Not only did the poor Russians have to deal with that, but they still got the Germans on them. And the Austro-Hungarians. And finally, we got 1918. Peace at last. It's like a World War One in Sieg. Possibly. Got some captured tanks, got some AV-7s. And just what is left of a Russian Empire. After the Bolsheviks had their way with it. I don't know, I'm not... I'm not calling peace yet. Oh, okay, hold on a sec. Let's hit one of these with a general on... Where are you? Let's put a general on it does. 
Not bad. So the Germans have two special units uh, that only they have. Um, one is all, uh, obviously the chemical launcher, but another one is the flame and Werfer unit. I imagine does a crap ton of damage to infantry as, as it should. Remember how bad that the uh, flame and Werfer unit used to wreck artillery in European War 6, 1914. All right, bros, I think that is it. That's going to be a wrap on uh, the quick review of this mod. I like it. If you are enjoying this content, you know what to do. Stop the like, subscribe to the notification bell, and I will be back here for our next upload. Peace, Bruminati out.